This hack tip is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hackshop.com. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morse, and today we're performing aggressive scans and even more. Now, first off, Nmap. It can be used to obtain a much more aggressive scan than the ones that we have seen so far in our previous hack tips. It's very, very simple to do this too. You simply add an extra little script and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and try this out on my computer. I'll go ahead and pull up one of my terminals. I have two running and I'll show you why in just a few moments. But first off, let's go ahead and do this aggressive scan. To do this, you type in Nmap, TAC, capital A for aggressive and then whatever you're wanting to scan. So I'm gonna scan 10.73.31.64. And I'm gonna go ahead and run it. So while this is running in the background, let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about what an aggressive scan is. So these simply put together some of the most popularly used commands in Nmap into one command for you to type. So it just makes it easier. It uses commands such as TAC O, TAC S capital C, TAC TAC traceroute, and some others. We'll go into all of these very soon on Hacktip, but for now, just simply know that O works for operating system detection, which is pretty cool. TAC S capital C runs several scripts inside of Nmap once, such as speed and verbosity, and then traceroute is just that. It is a traceroute. Now when running the scan, which will take a lot longer, and you can tell in the background, because of the extra scripts involved, you'll receive back a whole bunch of strange looking fingerprint information. So let's go ahead and wait for this to go ahead and finish. So once that's done, it'll pull up a bunch of information about the thing that I'm trying to scan. And it does take about like two, three minutes for it to finish. There we go. Okay, so if you were watching this, you see that I ran two commands. The first one looked like this. It was nmap tech a 10.73.31.64. And the second one I ran was 74. So the reason for that is I wanted to show you the difference between the two. First one I ran was a printer, which really doesn't give us a lot of information. If I scroll up and look at that command, right here okay so we see a whole bunch of fingerprinting information but otherwise we just get what we normally would with a regular nmap scan if i scroll back down to this one dot 74 this one is running our nas and it gives us some really interesting facts such as the name of our nas which is the synology disk station and if i scroll down you can see that there it is HTML title, Synology's disk station, and we can also see things such as the open ports with a little bit more information. So you can see right here we have OpenSSH 5.8 running on this open port 2222, as well as the printer, work, work, a work group and whatnot. You can even see this really interesting part down a little bit further. Let me see if I can find it for you. It's kind of funny. Oh, there they are. Right here, I've highlighted it for you, the SSH host key with DSA and RSA encryptions. That's really funny. I just enjoy being able to see all those interesting facts about different things on the network. It can really help if you're worried about somebody breaking in from externally into your network and trying to make sure that things are you know, secure like they should be. Now, after the break, I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to Netcat. Yeah, we're bringing back Netcat. We're gonna have some fun with that. But first, let's go ahead and thank our sponsor. The Hack Shop is Hack5's premier store for all of your pen testing needs, including one of my favorites, the USB rubber ducky, which looks like a flash drive and it types like a keyboard. It can type scripts into a computer crazy, crazy fast, like this week's pick from Water Pistol in the forums. So this very, very simple script is used to change the wallpaper on an OSX Mavericks computer. It's very, very easy to use and it's short, so it's a really great one to start off on. Also, congrats to Water Pistol on your first script. Excellently written. Now, of course, we couldn't do this show without your support, so we would like to thank you with something very special. You can use the coupon code SNUBS with any order in the hack shop for your very own hack tip sticker. Isn't that cute? And I even signed it for you. Thank you so much for supporting the show. We'll be right back. 
we're back and we promise to bring you some netcat action so here goes if i end map our network obviously we already know how to use this so i'm going to go ahead and type it in it's nmap 10.73.31.0 slash 24 and that's the cider c-i-d-r notation so i'm going to let this run in the background basically what it's going to find is dot six four so 10.73.31.64 which just happens to be an hp printer with telnet open on port 23. here we go all right so it's updated for us so i'm going to scroll up so i can look through here and see all sorts of fun things so here it is oh look at that telnet's open on port 23. hmm what can i do now so let's think in netcat we learned how to log into a port so if i open netcat on my computer i'll just type nc 10.73.31. And that was 64. And the port, which is 23. And click enter. I'm now in Telnet debugging. We just Telneted into our HP computer. So fun. So now I can just type in all sorts of different things that I can do in Telnet. So I could try PWD. And I see nothing. All right, that's boring. Let's try LS. Okay, so we have some folders. Let's see, what, what are these directories? Cloud, ePrint, IPP, TD. Mm, that's interesting. Uh, let's try ePrint. Uh, actually, CD, ePrint. And if I LS now, I can see, let's see. Okay, so we have debug settings, error codes, cloud config. I can show settings, so I'm gonna type show settings. So I can see the settings of the computer. Uh, if I CD, period, period, get back to home, uh, LS again, let's see, I'll go into cloud, slash, cloud, LS, and here I get a whole bunch of fun things I can do. Let's see, I can set cloud cert validation, custom settings, I can set the serial number, oh, that's fun, print, print instru instruction page, okay, so, if I had this printer installed on my computer, instruction page. See, it says printer is not registered. But if you do have it registered, you can pretty much print from the terminal because why not? This is so fun. I got so excited when I figured that out that I could easily do this with two programs that I just recently learned and researched how to use. It's super exciting and I love being able to integrate what I've learned into a hack tip like this. So yay, I learned something fun. And I wanna see what you guys have been doing with Nmap as well because this is really cool. I love being able to take Netcat and use my example with Nmap and just you know, have some enjoyment out of it. So you, you can always send me a comment below or you can email us over at tips at hack5.org. We check them all. We may not be able to reply, but you know, we're busy. So if you like Nmap, perhaps you will also enjoy our new show with Mubix, which is called Metasploit Minute. It's over at youtube.com slash hack5 and hack5.org. And be sure, of course, to check out our sister show, Hack5, where we've been having a lot of fun with antennas. Definitely check that out. I'll be reminding you over there to trust your technology. See you next week. Ramble, 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 ramble.